Mahomes will bring him up first and ten. And he's a perfect five for five here to begin the game. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Forced out to his left. He'll try and run it. And he will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. A 10-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs take it right down and score on the opening drive. Well, that drive felt like it took up an eternity. We finally had some action on the scoreboard. Yeah, but plenty of action prior to because that drive took up all the first quarter before we spilled into the second. And finally, points were registered. On the other sideline, they're chomping at the bit just to get the football. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. He'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 24. Shotgun now for Wentz. Completes it to Aguilar. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Throwing his wins. A dump off to Sproles. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and that'll bring up a third and one. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are. You know, make him make someone miss in the open field. It's caught by Jackson. First target, first catch at a first down. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They run with Howard. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. From the 45 on second down, Wentz. He's going to let this go. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked by Kendall Fuller. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down the score, they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. On the ground, this is Williams. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. He's at the 30, 10, and he's all the way down to the six-yard line. An outstanding pickup there for the Chiefs, 58 yards. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. When halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Escaping the pressure right. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play.
Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. Throwing now is Mahomes. And he's going to drop this off to Williams. Complete. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. They'll try to run it in. It's Williams. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. A field goal would make it a two-score game, but they're going to go aggressive. They're going to try this thing on fourth and goal. Mahomes going to go on fourth down. That's to his running back, complete. And he will be brought down well shy of the goal line. Williams can't punch it in on fourth and goal. And this Eagle defense stands tall down near the goal line. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And from the four, they get it to the eight on a pickup of four. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And he'll get it up a little shy of the 15. They'll spot him down at the 14-yard line. Wentz to throw on third and one. And this is caught by Jackson. And he'll be out of bounds near the 30. In fact, right on the 30. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle first down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. On first down, Wentz. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Now, once again, this short throw caught by Goddard. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. It's caught by Aguilar. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. Wentz now getting on 80% of his passes in the early going. 8 of 10. It's first down. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Yeah. Again, it's Wentz. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Man, five, seven. Get that ball. Go, go. He's checking crap. Check. Again, they'll throw with Wentz. He'll hit Jackson complete. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. So the kick from here on a field goal would have been right at 53 yards. But instead, offense out there. They're going for it. So we've reached halftime with just the lone touchdown here. 7-0 is our score. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, that's fielded in the end zone. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line.
The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked by Kendall Fuller. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. Here's a run on first down that won't even get back to the line of scrimmage. He will lose a yard, second and 11. Hey, 43, 43, 15. Right on second and 11 now. Mahomes eluding the pressure right. Looking sideline incomplete. Sammy Watkins, the intended target. But now it's third down. Defensively, celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now, and that's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. Mike. Hey, Ripley. Hey, 15, 15, 15. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Let's go, let's go. Hey, we got Mike. Charlie. Mike. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Sacked by Brandon Graham. He's been doing that since he entered the league in 2010. Mahomes now to throw. Well, Parker, we know they came out of the locker room down on the... Oh, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. Picked off by Ronald Darby. And he will bring it out past the 20-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. The Eagles' offense set to begin their next drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play, because that's been an issue for them in this game. Touchdown, Philadelphia! Deshaun Jackson. 75 yards, as they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as the wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece.